We have some extra binoculars in case you didn't bring any. Right in the middle of a crowd of excited bird watchers, 13-year-old Lucinda Anderson is sharing what she loves about nature. My favorite bird is an osprey because just like ospreys, I love the water. Cabrillo National Monument has some of the most spectacular views of water looking down on San Diego Bay and the Pacific. Lucinda is one of a trio of teenage scientists who are apprentices teaching visitors about birds and animals that make their home here on the hillsides of the National Park. 14-year-old Maya Paleo and 16-year-old Mayumi Lorenzo are the other members of the team. This is how they spend time away from their regular schools, supplementing their education and working to change the world. A lot of it is studying animals and other plants. Um, while we were preparing for the bird walk, we actually did quite a bit of walking around the park and observing birds and just trying to kind of collect some data that we could use for this. My mom's a scientist. <laughs> I look like her. So it's nice seeing, you know, some representation. But I'd love to see more people that look like me, more girls in general, um, in STEM. I think that'd be amazing. The girls are living examples of STEM students excelling in science, technology, engineering, and math. They're being taught and mentored by park rangers in an informal internship program that grew from the STEM camp held every summer here. I like to remind kids that there is a place for them in nature and that Nature is filled with wonders, and everything in nature happens for a reason. A raven's tail has like little longer feathers in the middle. Back to the birds and the business of conserving the environment, this is just the beginning of a lifelong journey for Mayumi, who has already broken barriers, becoming one of the first females accepted by the Boy Scouts of America, now known simply as BSA. I'm very interested in animals, always have been, so learning about different animals and how they interact with the ecosystem. There's lots to see here at the National Park on the hillsides that surround the historic lighthouse. But come January and early spring, the interns will turn their attention to gray whales, beginning their migrations off the coast of San Diego. But on this last birdwatching walk of the year, Maya is determined to make sure visitors know the difference between a raven and a crow. A crow and a raven, so they're like, caw, 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 like the deeper one. Or no, the croaking one. Caw, caw. I think that was something like um, a raven. The more cause is a crow. Learning that's fun and an investment for the future. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.